Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The genocide that continues to this day. Russian peacekeepers have neutralized the national position in the Charter of Artsakh. The Greek parliament will continue to demand recognition of the genocide of Armenians from the international community. We need to see what can be done to make the activities of Russian peacekeepers more effective. Nikol Pashinyan. The consequences of impunity for the genocide are visible today. The the Armenian community of Australia will hold justice marches, recognize the treasures of Artsakh and the Perth. The Yazidi community celebrates the new year, Malaket Taos. The presentation of the book by Mihran Perkic, an Armenian from Dersim, will take place. The genocide of Armenians is one of those events that will never be forgotten, even after several centuries. No one can and should consider this as a problem of the past or of history. Its devastating consequences and the pain cost are still fresh, just like yesterday. Despite all the efforts on the murders of deny and neglect, the genocide remains a fact in a criminal case on the volumes of Turkish state and continues to this day. The first major genocide of 20th century was actually a massacre of women and children. It was massacre of civilization and culture. This is the complete destruction of people, their forcible removal from the lands where they lived for thousands of years. From Talia to Mustafa Kemal and from there to Erdogan, the biggest obstacle to attempt to create a homogeneous Turkish nation. Right now is the presence of millions of Kurds and other national minorities living in the lands of Western Armenia. The Russian peacekeeping contingent neutralized artillery positions near the village of Chartar in the Republic of Artsakh during engineering works. This is reported by the Telegram channel of the peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation. In total, two 152 mm cannons and 60 shells were destroyed at this position. Ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to Greece, Tigran Makarchan, visited the Greek city of Kalamata. Mayor of Kalamata, Antanasios Vasilipoulos, delivered a welcoming speech at the event. In his speech, he noted that the genocide of Armenian people, committed 107 years ago, continues to be in a spotlight of international community, emphasizing the importance and commemoration of innocent victims. The head of the Armenian Diocese of Greece, His Eminence, Archbishop Geram Khacharyan, also spoke stressing that genocide 107 years ago was followed by the genocide of Pontic Greeks and Esrians. Greek MP Penkilis Mandes in his welcoming speech noted that the Greek parliament will continue to demand recognition of genocide of Armenian people from the international community so that humanity will no longer fail to commit such crimes. However, Western Armenia knows perfectly well that it is not the recognition that will prevent genocide, but the compensation. We need to see what can be done to make the activities of Russian peacekeepers more effective in Artsakh. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said that at a meeting with the Russian President Vladimir Putin, in general it should be emphasized that activities of Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh ensure security. However, we need to see what can be done to make the work of peacekeepers more effective. And of course, the settlement of Artsakh problem is an important political issue in our region. And I'm sure that today we will talk about it, Pashinyan said. The answer can still come from Western Armenia, since Eastern Armenia has stood back on its obligation to guarantee the security of Artsakh Armenians, who nevertheless have an Armenian passport, therefore citizens of the Republic of Armenia. The protection of citizens of the Republic of Armenia, among other things, are applied to Article 4, Article 11 and Article 16 of the Constitution of the Republic of Armenia. The Armenian community of Australia will hold a justice march to Sydney and Melbourne Square on April 24 on the genocide of Armenian people. Memorial Day. The purpose of the march is to convey to the Australian authorities that Turks' recognition of the genocide of Armenians, Estrian and Greeks in 1915 is an important and urgent need. Like more than 3,000 countries of the world, international structures, various states of Australia have recognized the genocide of Armenians. The Australian government should also do the same. Handabert Fortress is located 1 km east of Kanaravan village of Shaoman region of the Republic of Artsakh on the right bank of the Lev River. The fortress is located at an altitude of 1,665 meters above sea level on the top of an impassable wooded mountain. The fortress is surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs. A mighty wall rises above the head of the natural barriers of the mountain, the height of which reaches 8 meters and the thickness is 1.3 meters. Handabert was first 
just mentioned in 854, 800 meters to the east of the fortress are the ruins of Handavert Monastery. In the first half of the 19th century, the prince of the northern possession of Artsakh, Atar Nasser Sambadyan, built all the necessary means for safe and long-term protection. According to the inscription of the Khachkar preserved in Dadivang, in 1142-1182, the fortress belonged to the prince Verin Khachen Hassan Vakhtangyan. A fortress called Handabert is also mentioned by Kirakos Kanzaketsi. According to Yezidi calendar, this is the year 6763. According to religious beliefs, the Yezidis Malake Tavus is considered the leader of Yezidis, who is the head of 40 angels. In this day, they gather at the graves because, first of all, they congratulate their deceased on this holiday. One of the most important rites of the holiday is the separation of Katas. It should be noted that 3 million Yezidis live in the world, of which only 1.3 million are the northern Iraq. Western Armenia congratulates the Yezidis, considered an indigenous people, on the new year and wishes them new successes and all the best. The Center for the Study of Middle East is pleased to invite you to participate in the presentation of the book Traces of Our Way Existence by the organizer of Dersim Armenians, public figure, publicist, publisher Mihran Parkic, which describes the history of the return of Dersim Armenians to their own identity. The book was published in two languages. The presentation of the book will take place in a hall of Tekian Cultural Union in Yerevan on April 22 and 6 p.m. 2022. Now musical part Armenian folk song Nora Jahmarian Hovi Kanj. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.